Every year, thousands of letters are sent to the North Pole for Santa Claus to read before Christmas. But 100 years ago, kids had a very different way of reaching Santa. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen has the story. Dear Santa Claus, I want a pair of stockings, <laughs> some candy, nuts. These items are not normally featured on a kid's Christmas boy. list. Oranges and apples. But 100 years ago, I want you to bring me a rubber doll. A rattler. They were all a child could wish for. Candy was probably uh, not like our children get it nowadays every day. That was probably a very rare thing for them to get. Dresses, cap, coat, and candy. These are letters to Santa printed in the Nashville Globe, an African-American newspaper back in 1918. Oranges, raisins, and nuts. One by one. Your baby. The African-American Heritage Society of Williamson County has posted the letters on Facebook, and that's where Johnny read one special letter. Yours truly, Henrietta Lee, Nashville, Tennessee, December 16, 1918. That name was a big part of her childhood. I saw a letter from her and I'm like, oh my God, that's my grandmother's letter. Henrietta passed away in 1965, but while she was alive, she brought so much light into her family's lives. At the age of eight, she already worked to spread cheer, asking Santa for gifts for her family and even her school teacher. That was my grandmother. She was a very unselfish person, a very giving person, so it started as a child for her. The letters were stumbled upon during genealogy research and upon finding them had to be shared. I don't remember that happening in my generation growing up to have letters published so that was a big thing I'm sure for them. While Johnny was brought joy and good memories from the letters she hopes they can also teach a lesson to today's youth. Christmas and life in general isn't just about receiving gifts but about giving as well. She'd be proud that we still honor what she believed in and she'd be saying don't buy them kids all that stuff. In Franklin, Jessica Knudsen, News Channel 5.